And as we're gently moving up and down, just kind of relax your body. You can take your fingertips if you want and just kind of massage around the neck. We're warming up all the tissue areas of the body as we're gently moving up and down. When we're done with a minute of the gentle baby bouncing, then what we're going to do is I'm go we're going to take eight deep breaths. Okay, now if you haven't done this before the breathing, try just four because I don't want you to get dizzy and I, want to, I don't want to irritate your lungs too much if you haven't done this before. But we're going to increase oxygen to the bloodstream so we have a better aerobic activity. Okay, so it goes like this. Hands in front of the face. We're going to stand up, breathe in, come down, breathe out. We go. All right. And then we're going to just gently start off with a gentle jog. And that's going to uh, get the aerobics pumping. And then we'll do that for a minute. And the key, tighten your stomach. You're tightening your stomach while you're jogging. You're going to get more of an aerobic activity and more intensity to help create definition in the stomach area. So pretty simple to begin with. Lift your knees high if you can. If you can't, just walk. Okay, then, a minute. Okay, we're going to gently bounce up and down. For about 30 seconds. So we've got things moving. And then we're going to work on the hips. Okay, so feet spread apart, gently just kind of lift the shoulders up and down, rock left to right, dropping the hips into the mat, kind of pushing down with the heel of your foot, and as you're doing this, if, as you lift the knee and the shoulder up, if you have any tension in the back, you'll probably feel that. That's stretching those muscles and those ligaments. Okay, from here, gently twist. Now we're loosening the lower back. We did those both for 30 seconds, Brooklyn. We're gonna, we're working on the colon, the intestine, liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals, all those nice internal organs there. And then we're going to do the Ski patrol, so you can hold on to the balance bar, and we're just going to hop side to side, and then working the hips, the thighs, the knees. Okay, after this, we're going to do a sprint for a minute for those who can do it. So now we're ready. Resume. 
I pause the timer. Okay. Now, rock side to side. Breathe in and out. You really just activated a whole lot of white blood cells. Now again, don't push yourself beyond what you feel comfortable doing. Okay, now we're going to work on the waist and the hips. And you'll still be catching your breath. And this one here, if you put your hand on your, your waist, you're going to really feel those muscles working. So we'll do this for about a minute. Now from here, we're going to lean forward just slightly on the balance bar and kick our legs behind us. And this is working the lower back and the buttocks. If you haven't done this before, I would, you don't need to do a full minute. In between the movements, you can do the Jamba walk, a twisting, um, or a ski patrol. Fifteen seconds to go. Two, one, okay, stomach. If you tilt your head back a little bit, you'll work underneath the chin. I open my mouth a little, so it, it's just the muscles that were working more than stretching out the skin or anything like that. Thirty seconds to go. Tighten that stomach if you can. And remember, have fun. We're having fun. And if, if you need to replace this movement with just jogging, tilting backwards a little bit, go ahead and do that too. Okay, now, loosening up the back, helping to restore homeostasis or balance in the body. And then we're going to do the, the ski patrol. So back and forth for 30 seconds, and then we're going to do the uh, feet together for a minute. So this is kind of the warm-up. 15 seconds to go, and then we'll do feet together ski patrol two. You can go slow if you need to. Or you can go a little faster if you want to. Okay, feet together. This is for the thighs and the knees. And it, it's not jarring on the knee, but it is working the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint of the knee so we have better support. We can retain more fluid and more circulation in the actual joint of the knee. 
Hit 30 seconds to go. I don't know about you, but I feel good when I sell our size. I, I love it. Okay, when we're done with this, we're going to go immediately into the Jamba walk for 30 seconds. It's done just like this. And you should feel that if you're doing it right, keep your back straight. Don't lean forward. Keep the back straight. It keeps the weight over the thighs. Keep your feet flat. Okay. Gently move up and down. Lift the heels up and down. We're going to tighten the stomach muscles, the arms, the body, and just tighten everything as we gently, you don't have to jump high, but gently jump up and down off the mat. Focus on tightening. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the jog again. Just jogging easy. Lifting the knees high. You can tilt backwards if you'd like a little bit. Four, three, two, one. Breathe again. Okay, Jamba Run. We're going to do this with just 30 seconds this time. It's a lot harder on the Mr. Rebounder app under weight loss. Okay, just gently move up and down. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. And then we're going to go back to the Jamba Run again. And if you can't do the Jamba Run, do the Jamba Walk. Five, four, three, two. Okay. Should feel good. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Gentle rock side to side, just uh, ski patrol one. Okay, I'm going to kick out side to side. We'll do this one for 30 seconds. And then we're going to do the kick back. I'm turning to the side for you. You can face forward. <laughs> okay, three, two, front kicks.
whenever I do the kickouts, when I'm done with them, I always like to do the twist to help balance things out again. Two, one, twist. Now there's two ways of doing this twist. You can keep the hips straight ahead and twist right in the hip socket area, which has been really good for people that have, or the people that have had sciatic issues. But the gentle twisting alone, just, you can almost do both. Okay, we're gonna do breathing again. And you may sound a little wheezy occasionally, and that can help clear things out. But now we're doing just aerobics with oxygen. As we increase the oxygen, the metabolism goes up, and we have more oxygen in the bloodstream that acts as a catalyst so we can burn fuel. And... I think we're doing this for a minute. I don't know. It looks like it. Hang it up. <laughs> no. Okay. Sorry, a little technical difficulty there. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, the timer kept going. That's good. All right, Jamba walk. Jamba walk. Just pushing down into the mat. Hmm. And then, yeah, well, that's fine. Okay, then we're gonna do the gentle moving up and down. About 30 seconds. If you focus on lifting your heels up and down, you'll work the calf muscle a little more. And that's good. We want strong, healthy calf muscles. So we have good circulation in the legs. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is a little different now. Take my right elbow, this is not in the Mr. Rebounder app. Just take our right elbow up over our head, lean to the left a little bit. We're gonna gently move up and down. If you feel tension in the back, just allow the gentle movement to massage that tension away. If you don't feel much tension, you can take the right leg and cross it in front of the left leg, every other bounce, as you're gently leaning to the left. This helps to open up the whole lower back. And you can kind of put a little lean into it to really feel that. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, lift the elbow up, tilt a little bit to the right, gently move up and down. Usually we, or often, we'll feel a little bit more tension on one side than the other. And you can cross that leg in front. I know, we're gonna do a little over. Okay, now we're gonna loosen up those pumping. This is a pumping movement. This movement here is good for digestion, elimination processes, but it also helps with the heart circulation, the lymphatic system. As you're moving up and down, you're moving fluid like a pump, literally, up and down through the body. If you have an allergy or hay fever or your sinus congestion, this movement up and down, can also help to clear that. Okay, so we just reached our limit. We're gonna end up with just a gentle health bounce. Oh, 
stop. <laughs> Just gently move up and down now. And relax your shoulders, your back, your buttocks. Just relax. If you hold on to the bar, it's okay. We're just gently relaxing so that we can sleep better at night. It's a gentle movement up and down. You can relax the knees a little bit. You're not lifting your heels up and down on this one. It's just gentle massage. And like you said, we will get this on our Mr. 